good morning nigerians i remain eyes of the spirit today is the 24th day in the month of june the year 2024 by my time this is 12.45 a.m. If you can recall, on the 21st of June, the president or the ordinary president of Ogram Project Group of Nigeria did a broadcast, an endeavor broadcast. I just want to go with one phrase, and the phrase was that we have come to the end of the journey. Beloved fathers and mothers in grand community, brothers and sisters, Muslims and Christians, I just want to draw your attention to something because today is 24th of June the year 2024, I discovered that since three days ago, because the VN was on the 21st of June, and today is 24th, and since that time to now, many persons are confused. Please note, I am not a member of the National Esco of our Grand Pleasure Group. I'm just your sincerely a friend and a brother to you. Just the same way you stand as a beneficiary. In the same way, I stand as a beneficiary. But I wouldn't know why you are confused. But in other words, to help you, in other words, rather to help you, out of your confusion, and to probably help you a little, and give you a guide of understanding. I decided after three days of his broadcast to come and help you with a little understanding. Please pay attention to these few things I want to say to you, if you don't mind. About a month ago, or approximately, approximately a month ago, the same Adrazak Yakobo, the president of our Grand Prager Group of Nigeria, once addressed Nigerians in the Telegram channel of our Grand Prager Group of Nigeria. Please permit me to paraphrase his words. This was his exact word. In that very day. And this meeting was held in the Telegram platform of our Grand Project Group. And he said, and I quote, Should it be that you subscribe? to the grant and uh, you were screened. He 
settling, you will be paid. In other words, in as much you subscribed and you were screened, you will be paid. That was his, that was exactly his words that he used that day. And this could be, say, approximately a month ago. And three days ago, in that same meeting, the president equally made mention that this morning, we know the Ghana must go of senator and paraphrasing please. He said, don't expect that you will get senator or Ghana must go money. But this grant in question, I'm quoting his exact word and I'm paraphrasing please. That you will get something but not to whatever amount you have been told or you have heard because officially nobody has told you anything and on that note it means that you'll be paid something that i have to do in other words being paid in quote i'm using doesn't mean somebody will come to your house to give you cash it means that the account you subscribe with will be credited with what is due to you. That is one. And this V name of on the 21st now came up to give you a better analysis. I haven't told you that there's going to be a cash disbursement. And in that cash disbursement, don't expect those Ghana must go or bags of money that your senators in Nigeria do collect, but expect something that at least that can question whatever you think of in a smaller way. Then, 21st, he came back to expand shit the word that you'll be hearing over a month, over two months, over three months, over six months ago. And that word, words project so he decided based on assignment given to him to expand the directions the modalities of the word project and he gave a vivid breakdown of that word project and so beloved friends of our Grand Pedro group, sisters and brothers, mothers and fathers, pastors, reverends, imam, whatever categories that you fall into, please lend me your ears for a few minutes. I will be done. So, does it mean that some of us couldn't be able to manage or match the two information. The one you were told in the previous meeting head online and the one that was given to you two days ago. So, does it mean that the VN, that the ordinary president, the president of Adrazak Yakobo said a few days ago, did he in any way told you that there won't be cash disbursement or uh, financial disbursement, is that what he said? The answer is no. So, what exactly, by my time, this is 12.55 a.m. on the 24th day of, of June, the year 2024. Because some of you are just getting, getting worried unnecessarily. And so, I decided to expand shit is VN after 
three days. The reason is this. So if every other VM, and perhaps the president may be in one occasion or the other, or the author of such VN was told to apologize, was told to, or there was a recounter or counter or debunking of such VN. Now that the president came by himself, I talked about the ordinary president, Yakubu Adrazak, came by himself and he gave that VN expatiating on the modalities of the said projects that you are aware, even though you were not told officially. So why the confusion? Why will you allow somebody, a fellow human being like you, with one head, not with two heads, with two legs, not with four legs, with two hands, not with six hands, to confuse you with their write-ups? So, three days now, the same Madrasak Yakobo, he has not come up to debunk what he earlier said. And this is to authenticate to you that he was sent in that vein. So, may I ask any of us here, which of you father, brother, sister, mothers, uncle, imam, prophet, teachers, pastor, bishop, that you can withdraw just 200,000 Naira and put it in your hands to walk in the street of Nigeria. Just go to the bank, those of you that have such money, just practicalize it, walk into the bank later in the day today, depending on the time you'll be listening to the VN. It could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon, it could be in the evening, it could be at the midnight. Whenever you be listening to the VN, but when you have the time, go to the bank. That is, if you have such a amount in your account, withdraw two hundred thousand naira. Just hold it in your hands. Don't put it in your purse or your pocket or your wallet. But just walk with that two hundred thousand naira from the gate of the bank and stroll for like thirty minutes into the street and see what will happen to that your hand. If your hands or your hand will be complete and get home. So you are even expecting this man, the ordinary president, to come and give you analysis of cash disbursement via a VM. Then you must be a century joker of the year. Grand community is a mismultitude. And so, what he has said, it is a full package. So if somebody embark on a journey, and let's take a, stu- a case study, that someone is traveling from Lagos State to Plateau State, or from Lagos State to Gombe State to Borno State. And he said, I've just arrived. So the world arrived, does it mean that the person is still on the way? Or is still proceeding? Or is possible he's still at the motor park? Or is possible is just at the airport about to board? So if he has said that we have come to the end of the journey, it means all those exercises of whatever that we have engaged with for the past eight years, as, as a matter of fact, God helping every one of us, it has successfully come to an end. The next line of action that you and I should be expecting should be disbursement. And so, do you think that disbursement is something that happens at the blinks of the eyes? Is that what you think? So, it's a process. So, beloved Nigerians, I will advise you, I remain yourself, I remain my humble self, your friend and brother, eyes of the spirit. I will advise you to please stay calm. And let me tell all Nigerians 
This is an appeal to you. There is no way you will not benefit from these blessings from God. So please, for the sake of your mental health, in order for you not to be traumatized, it is not all VN you pay attention to. It is not all right of you need to read. Avoid high pass in this season. You do not need high pass in this season. And so, are you not saying that the VN that our ordinary president Yakubu Adresa gave a few days ago? So, okay, is under the influence of alcohol was it under the influence of Igbo or weed Nigerians at times truth is always bitter but let me summarize here to the Christians community the Muslims I believe you must have read the story in the Quran in the holy book Quran and I want you to know this. And to some of us, or to the, some of the Muslims, you must have also studied the Bible. But I will give you one story from the Bible to end my story. This is already stories I've been telling you. And I want you to pay attention to this. What is this story, beloved friends? There was a young man in one city and on one fateful day, he woke up from his dream and narrated his stories. All is a counter in the dream to his sibling. The same chap equally narrated the same. Perhaps, not perhaps really, but he narrated the same to his spirit. The Bible did say that the parents observed him, most especially his father. But, or bet, his brethren was not happy over the narration of the dream. And the Bible says, yet he dreamt again. And because of the weight and the sensitive nature of his dream, Hatred came in. But yet this grand community to the pastors, bishop, pope, I remain eyes of the spirit, hear this. This is dream. God probably passed through this dream to fulfill this dream. And so what did God, what did he do? God ensured that his brethren hit him and so on the fateful day, this young man took food to give to his brethren. At this point in time, they've already conspired to kill him. Thank God for one person called Reuben, who suggested to his brethren that let us not kill him so that his blood will not be upon us. And so they heed to his advice. And so this young man is called Mr. Joseph. And so Joseph was dumped inside a pit. Thank God for whom God is. And there was no water in that pit or in that well. And so he was there. And they thought within themselves. Instead of him allowing him to die here, you can look at it. They never had the thought that Joseph could probably return back home. And the conclusion was, let's sell him out so that he should go and suffer. Let us see this dreamer with big vision. Let's see how his dream is going to manifest. But they never knew that their thoughts their plan, their evil imaginations and thoughts and plan was working in the favor for Joseph to actualize his dream. 
And so this man called Joseph was eventually sold. And I believe as a human being, when he was sold, judging by the narratives of all that happened within the few period or days he was kept in the pit, perhaps he must have concluded that this could be his end. I'm going to summarize here. You know the rest story. Eventually, Joseph found himself in a place where his dream is to be actualized. Beloved friends, fathers, mothers, sisters, uncles, subscribers of Grant in Nigeria. You see, we always have this problem of wrong imagination. We always have this problem at times to feel that I'm better than this. No, this person cannot achieve this. That was the conclusion of his brethren in their imagination. Who is Joseph to have actualized this? Who is Joseph? We have sold him. We have earned his dream. We have frustrated him. We have done all this. But little do they know that they only end up promoting Joseph. I believe if they knew that selling Joseph or when they sold him, that would have helped him to actualize his dream. That wouldn't have been the best option. Beloved friends, I'm not saying this because I'm APGN. This mindset and these wrong notions that who are these boys? They are children. They are this. They are that. Let me tell you this as I end my opinion. Who are you to conclude over another person? Are you his God? Have you not heard several times that God uses the foolishness of this world to confront the wise? So, are you wiser than God? The ways of the Almighty God are not the ways of man. The thought and the imaginations of men are not the same with God. The Almighty God is always wise. He is just. He is right. He do things. You cannot. He, you can't compromise him. You can't bribe him. So if President, ordinary President Komri Dadu Yakobut said in his broadcast that we have come to the end of the journey, take it so and wait if there is no disbursement before you can castigate him and castigate APGN. Are we not tired? We should be happy to hear such broadcasts and wait and labor in prayer or in thanksgiving to see that, as a matter of fact, his words come to pass. Thank you, Nigerians, for listening. Kindly help let this VN help you to give you a second thought and a second reiteration. We are not to hit anybody in grand community. We came for one purpose. And that purpose I've been saying is to add values to our life. We are not to hit APGM, we don't hit. Prayer room of APGM, we don't hit anybody. For we are all one Nigerians who will benefit from this. Please, every members of APGMs from today onward, Whoever that want to insult a pigeon, let them go ahead. If insult, we give them a light. To God be the glory for them. If hyping, we give them a light. I give them a light. Let them continue. But time shall tell. As believers, as Muslims, Christians, keep praying for this man. That every imagination of the enemy will come to naught. It will not work. God bless you all, and good morning, everyone. Thank you.